pleasure in them, that is, in the divine assignment and allotment of time. Before the sun, prosperity, or the light, doctrine, or the moon, young man, shut up. Talk to your girlfriend some other time. Of all of the rude, crude, stupid, asinine tricks, when someone else is talking, you keep your mouth shut. Every now and then we get someone who's not from Texas and who does not have good manners in this congregation, and they are not tolerated here at any time. And don't you understand me, sonny boy? If you don't, see me afterwards and I'll give you a lesson in manners, which you are badly needing. When the Word of God is read, you shut your mouth and open your ears. Do you understand me, Sonny, in the blue shirt? Do you understand me? This is the Word of God, and the Word of God demands that everyone listen. And if you're not here to listen to the reading of the Word, you're not here to listen to the teaching of the Word. And if you're not here to listen to the teaching of the Word, then get the hell out and stay out. The Word of God demands obedience, silence, concentration. One or two of you were rude enough to yawn in my face while I was doing it. And you can put your hand over your mouth, which is the least you could have done. You say, do I resent it? I think you're disgusting. Does that tell you what I think? Anyone doesn't have the manners to get their hand over their mouth when they yawn. Now, something doesn't dig with some of you. You'll never figure it out. 